Say, I am a basileus. Say, I am made to rule and made to reign. Hallelujah. The other word that we find there is priest. And uh, the, 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 the Bible talks about the priest. The priest in the Greek is Hereos or Herios. Hallelujah. And, and it stands for priest and the definition of a Christian. A Christian being bought and purchased by the blood of Jesus. Oh, somebody. You are more than you think you are. Say, this is not me. This is not my true identity. This night, I have come to more tonight to help us, ladies and gentlemen, settle one crisis of Christianity. One crisis of Christians. And the crisis of Christians I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is the crisis of identity. Hallelujah. Say, the crisis of identity. <clears throat> not knowing who you are in Christ as a Christian is the greatest disaster that one can face ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I said not knowing who you are in Christ is the greatest disaster one can face that a person can face on this earth hallelujah uh, it is not the hurricanes it is not the earthquake or the tsunamis it is the misunderstanding of your identity that is the greatest crisis on this earth that is the greatest disaster that anyone can encounter hallelujah but tonight I have come to help somebody I have come to help somebody tonight uh, to identify your identity to understand your identity and I tell you uh, that you are a king and a priest hallelujah identity is who a person is or the qualities of that person and knowing who you are is the greatest liberation that you can ever enjoy if you know who you are you walk in freedom if you know who you are you walk in power and authority if you know who you are you fear nothing are you with me if you know who you are you don't hear the ambulance and you run and think it's a police if you know who you are you walk with authority and mandates are you with me ah uh, i said the, the, the misunderstanding of your identity is a greatest disaster you can be in the house of god you could be a Christian for all these years and not know who you are. Somebody say, ouch. You could be a Christian and don't know who you are. Mama, the fact that you enter a church building does not make you a Christian. The fact that you enter into a garage does not make you a Lamborghini or a Mercedes. You don't just become a car because you enter the garage. You've got to understand who you are. What you are called to become. Because Christ in you, the hope of glory. You are made in his image. Are, are you understanding me somebody? You carry power. You carry authority. You carry the, 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 the dynamic. The dynamo of Jesus Christ is in you. And you are made to rule and to reign. Hallelujah. I said, if you don't know your identity, it is the greatest disaster ever. But the moment somebody, the moment you discover your identity, the moment you discover your identity in Christ, you become positioned for rulership. You become positioned for recovery. When we talk about recovery, it means that once upon a time you had something that was taken away from you. But now, when you come, when the light of your identity comes on, all of a sudden, someone who was a nobody becomes a somebody. Someone who couldn't go forward goes forward. Because now you have the power. Now you know who you are. Hallelujah. You are not restricted anymore because you know your identity. When you understand your identity, then you are positioned for glory. Are you following me, somebody? If you are the one, say, I am the one. Oh, I did not hear you say, I am the one. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I see somebody right here discover their purpose. I said, I see somebody recover their glory. I see someone coming from glory campaign 2019. You are coming out to discover and recover. I see you walk in power and glory. I see you walk in dominion and authority because there is an illumination. The light has been switched on of your identity, your true identity, not what the world says you are. Not not what people say you are not what the enemy says you are but what God says you are and he says you are a king and a priest for you are made for rulership you are made for dominion you are made with power and authority to take over hallelujah somebody say I came to take over are you sure you came to take over then say it again your enemy did not hear you oh your neighbor did not hear you you did not hear yourself Say, I am made to rule and to reign. Hallelujah. It is a mystery, ladies and gentlemen. Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. It says, to, to them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of his mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's a mystery. You carry Christ. But you don't know what's in you. You don't value what's in you because you don't know your identity. Are you with me? But when you know your identity, nobody comes and tells you a lie. When you don't know your identity, <clears throat> you are sold a lie. In the beginning of the book, the enemy comes and speaks to the woman who did not know her identity and the woman spoke to the husband who also did not know his identity and the husband just followed the wife and now when God came on the scene ladies and gentlemen he says Adam where are you and Adam answers and makes the biggest mistake ever Adam was the first person to fail an English exams he says, Adam, where are you? He says, I am naked. What has your identity got to do with your location? Are you with me, somebody? But when you lose your identity, you become confused. When you are being asked of your, your location, you, you, you now answer according to your appearance. Are you with me, somebody? Your, your, your nakedness has nothing to do with your identity. But, 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 but all of a sudden, when you fail to identify who you are, then you become confused. You have to understand that when God said, Adam, where are you? He's talking about the location. The location of Adam determines his allocation. Hallelujah. Your location determines your allocation. But if you don't know your location and you confuse your location to be your appearance, then you miss your allocation. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? I came to tell somebody that the Lord has placed you in a location. And when you know your identity, then you rule in that location. In that location, you have jurisdiction. In that location, you have authority. You have dominion. Minion. Are you with me? Adam, where are you? Somebody say, I'm naked. How? How, how do you become naked when I'm asking for you? Because mama, he had lost his identity. He, he misunderstood his identity. He did not know his identity. And the Bible said, it is a mystery that, that Christ in us, the hope of glory, that means that if you don't have Christ in you, you don't have any hope for glory. But, but, but also, you can have Christ in you and not know that you have Christ in you. Are you with me? I can, I can, I can, I can, I can. Come, 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 come. Yes, you, run. Do you know your identity? Run. I, I can, I can, I can. I can give you this iPad and, and, and without knowing what the iPad can do that she can browse and she can go on the internet and she can watch clips and she can make notes on there and she can take pictures on there and make video recordings on there w without knowing what's in it and what it can do she can 
just determined to use it as a fan because the room is hot are you with me when you don't understand the, the identity, when you don't know the importance of a thing, when you don't know the significance of a thing, abuse is inevitable. Are you with me? You, you, you see, the, this, this microphone that I speak in is to echo my voice. But if I don't know the use of the microphone in my life, I could begin to want to write with it. I could ask for a piece of paper and begin to write with it. Uh, uh, would I get anywhere like that? That is how we have been living our lives. We have Christ in us. We have the power and the authority in us. He is in us and with us. Hallelujah. But, but ladies and gentlemen, we walk about like puppets. We walk about because we are begging for what is already ours. As a Christian, you are not made for, to be a servant. You are not made, you are not redeemed to be a slave again. Are you with me, somebody? You have the authority to speak. And what you speak will come to pass. Are you with me, somebody? You see, he says death and life is in the power of the tongue. He has given you power. That power is Christ in you. When you speak out of the power, all of a sudden, the power comes to work. The Bible said where the voice or the word of a king is, there is what? Power. I came to tell a king and a priest here that you have power. Because Christ is in you. Put that power to use, to work. Put it to use. Hallelujah. You, you, you have suffered enough. You have suffered enough. A story is told of a man, a man in America. He was an explorer. True story. He sold his land, the family land, looking for diamond. And he sold the land to go and look to explore for exploration to raise funds to go to buy another land because he heard that there are there are elements you see the 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 the, the test the archaeological test of the soil tells us that there could be deposits of gold and diamond in the soil so he sells the family land that has been given to him and goes and buy a land somewhere because of a test that somebody has hallelujah and ladies and gentlemen he did everything he could for years did not find any gold on that land and decided to come back to the town and visit some old family because there was a funeral in the town so he came back to where he was and when he came the land that was the family land that he had sold he realized there were guards army military people around their land and they had built electric fence around his land and he says what is going on here they said oh they found diamond on the land deposits of gold in the land are you with me he sat on the land his father sat on the land his father's father sat on the land it was given to him generational but none of them could identify what they were sitting on are you with me and he sold it to go and look for what he already had isn't that sad it's funny we're laughing but that is how our life has been you have christ power dunamis is in you we are talking about glory campaign glory means it means doxa in the in the greek word we are looking for doxa you are looking for kabod the kabod is already with you because it's inside of you it says christ in me the hope of glory but when you don't identify that he's already in you no glory comes forth the shakina glory does not come so so we are going around looking for what we already have are you with me somebody you come into a place where you are supposed to be in authority power command it to be and you are coming begging oh please is there any position here i just can i drop my cv you are supposed to be the the, the ceo of that company i came to tell somebody that we have authority it's about time you change your mindset are you with me somebody we've got the power in us you see you, you don't you don't have to beg for what is already yours oh if you don't know your identity you are dead you are lost you are a living lost it is like trying to arrive at a location without knowing where you are going you arrive anywhere when you are coming tonight if you didn't know you are coming on Havant Road you could end up somewhere in Streatham are you following me or you could end up in Birmingham where I came from I could be coming down here you be coming going because you don't know your route you don't know where you are going are you following me somebody and, and could it be that because we don't know our identity we've been going around in circles all these years 
but somebody say thank God for revelation say thank God for Jesus you see the Bible says that for lack of knowledge my people perish my people die they go into extinction for lack of knowledge but when knowledge is exerted and imparted unto you the light comes on I hope that a light is coming on in someone's head tonight I, 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 it doesn't matter listen you see uh, the, the God that we serve the Bible says a thousand years is like a day in his hands it doesn't matter how long it has been that you have lived like that up until tonight but I am telling you that he's able to turn your life around at the click of a finger you could be the last in the sight of people but God can make you the first hallelujah he says that I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health he says that you are the head and not the tail somebody it doesn't matter where you find yourself tonight he says that my words are not your words his thought is not your thoughts he say but every word that he speaks that comes out of him shall not return to him void but it shall accomplish I speak unto somebody here that the word of God concerning your life may it come to pass I said may it come to pass in Jesus name I said may it come to fruition in Jesus name I hope that you are finding your identity tonight I hope that the light is coming on tonight for somebody if you are the one and you I'm speaking to say I am the one, am the one. hallelujah according to Revelation 5 verse 10 he has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth your domain for ruling and reigning is here are you with me I like the way you're knocking your head daddy you are made to rule and you will rule and reign the Bible says your latter shall be greater than the former I speak to you that the, the, your latter days the latter glory cannot be compared to the former glory are you with me He said, we are made to rule on the earth forever. We are made to rule on this earth. Your domain for rulership is on the earth. It's here. Where your souls, the souls of your feet are tread, I have given it unto you. It's given to you. It's not going to be given to you. It's already yours. You are already made. You are not going to be made. You are already made. Have you, have you not seen in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26? He says, let us make man. In our own image likeness are you with me let us what make you are not going to be made now you have been made already are you with me your beautiful voices have been made already to take over the world don't take that gift for a joke are you following me you are brothers and sisters are you siblings wow you look alike have you ever been told you don't know look at the guy going like Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. We have read this, we've seen this several times, but I want to bring something to somebody. And God said, let us make man. Let's all read it, read it together. Ready, go. It's on the screen. Let's read it. Ready, go. Let's go, let's go. One, two, go. Did you see all? It says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fishes of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Your domain for rulership and re reigning is this earth. Hallelujah. It has been made for you. It is your domain. Are you following me, somebody? You see, when the Bible talks about he has made us kings and priests, it means he has created us as kings and priests. He has constituted us. He's created, he's constructed you and I as kings and priests. You see, the other day when I looked, ladies and gentlemen, I looked to the sky and I saw an eagle fly. And the eagle has not changed from when God created it. When you look to the sea, the sea comes far as God said it should come and it rolls back. When you look to the soil, the soil is there. It depends which part of the world you find yourself. Some places it's red soil, some places it's black, some it's, 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 it's whatever color. Are you with me, somebody? But, but I'm talking about the fact that when, since he spoke from the beginning, what he 
he spoke still remains. And if he spoke for you to be king and for you to be a priest, nobody takes it away. You are a king and a, king and a priest. Uh, but but it, the, the onus is upon you to come to the understanding that God has spoken this word unto you. And the word that he speaks will not return to him void, but it shall accomplish. Hallelujah. So it is waiting for your manifestation. It is waiting. The Bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons. And when I once again, I want to speak and correct this. When we talk about sons, we are not talking about gender. It is by inheritance. Are you following me, somebody? It is for you, mama. It is for me. It's talking about us, that our creations are waiting for your manifestation. Everything that he spoke in Genesis 1.26 is waiting for your manifestation. But until you understand that you are a king, until you understand that you are a priest, you don't manifest the power, the authority, and the dominion. Am I speaking to somebody? Are you understanding me, somebody? He says, over everything, that creeper, he didn't even leave the creeping things. Everything is under your domain. But until you understand it, that is why Col Colossians say it's a mystery. It's a mystery. You've got to understand, come to the place of decoding the mystery. And decoding this mystery is enlightenment onto your identity. When you understand your identity and you understand that the one who called and made you, you don't live life as a pauper. You don't live life begging. Are you with me? You, you, are, not, you, are, you are not created for servitude or for slavery. You are created for mastery. Are you following me, somebody? Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> he has made us to have authority. In other words, he has given us jurisdiction, control, and power. You are in charge of your destiny. You are in charge of, of, of your life because God has placed the authority in your hands. You know, we talk about, oh, God is in charge, God is in control. I'm telling you, God is not in control. You are in control. Can I correct some theology right now? I've said it before. We've all said it. I remember your, your pastor must have said it. But, 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 but according to what we are reading, the authority has been given to us. And we are standing there for God to do what he has mandated and given us the power to do. Until you do what God has asked you to do, God will not do what he has to do. You've got to move for God to move. Are you following me? Because he has paid the price. Redemption means, I mean, redemption is, is, is a purchase. He's purchased you already. It's a done deal, sealed, delivered, and he's given you the keys. And we are waiting for God to give us the key to open the door. The keys in your hands. Are you following me? So, 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 you might have been waiting for all this while, but I came to tell you that it doesn't matter. It comes a time that you understand. And once you have understanding of your identity, now the light comes on. Now you come into illumination. And once you are in illumination, you are noticed because the light is on. Are you with me, somebody? But, but, but if you are void of the illumination, then you dwell in, you dwell in darkness. But I, I came to scatter every darkness that is clouding someone's identity tonight. Every act of the enemy that wants to keep you under. I came to speak to it and cast it on the altar of the Most High God. And I declare the authority of God and the true voice and the word of God. And I speak into your soul, the bones, the crevices of your heart. And I speak to your marrow for you to understand that you are not what the world says you are. You are mandated to a God to rule. Hallelujah. Oh, according to First Peter chapter two, verse nine, he says that. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own possession, so that you may you you so that you may proclaim the excellencies of Him. Who has called you out of darkness into the marvelous light? Do you understand what I was just talking there? For you are what you once were, not a people, but now you are the people of God. <laughs> we were irrelevant once, but now we are relevant because of Jesus. You were once not a people, but now you are the people of God. Are you following me, somebody? You have you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. See, I've received mercy. 
Say, I have received mercy. Say, I have received mercy. If you lose your identity, ladies and gentlemen, you lose your reward. But when you, 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 you come to the illumination of your identity, then you are ready for rulership and for reign. Hallelujah. Oh, what is dominion? Dominion is to rule. Dominion is to exercise authority. Dominion is to, it means to be in charge. It means to have authority, to be in power. You see, Jesus Christ was dominion personified. So you and I have to walk in the same mandate. <laughs> I said Jesus Christ was dominion personified. So you and I are dominion personified. When you walk into darkness, darkness must run away and light must come. When you walk into a situation of denial, there must be an acceptance. When you walk into a situation of failure, there must be success. There must be a turnaround because dominion walks in. You are dominion personified when you understand your identity. Somebody say, I'm a king. Say, I'm a priest. And I have been made to rule. I have been made to reign. Hallelujah. Are you, are you understanding? You, 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 are, you are working with two identities. There are two, man of God, there are two anointings that God has released upon us. The kingly anointing and the priestly anointing. When he talks about you being a king and a priest, he's talking about you having the mandate of a king's anointing and having the mandate of a priest's anointing. The kingly anointing, ladies and gentlemen, is an anointing for ruling and for reigning. It's an anointing for dominion and for government. It is also an anointing for prevailing. It, 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 it has the strength and the might to push back the forces of darkness and to take ground. Hallelujah. You have the authority to push back the forces of darkness and to take ground. I said that the kingly anointing is an anointing for reigning and for ruling. It is an anointing for dominion and for government. Are you with me, somebody? Am I speaking to some, some people that are inundated with, with the kingly anointed? The priestly anointing, on the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, it sets you apart for service to God. For service and for sacrifice, I beg your pardon, and dedication to God. You see, the anointing is for ministry unto the Lord. So, so it also includes soul winning. And tomorrow you want to invite everybody you know, including your enemies, to be here. Tell your neighbor, say, invite everybody you know, even your enemies, to be here. Hallelujah. Because tomorrow is going to be power. Say power. It's going to be fire. Say fire. Are, are you understanding me? I have come to the place where I, I, I've, I've begun to look at things and I said, enough is enough. Are you with me? Until, when you understand your identity, when you know that you have authority and dominion, you come to the place where now you have to exert that power. Until that power is put into motion, nothing happens. Are you following me? I'm fed up. Where Christians are running to men of God, man, man of God, I, I dreamt a kakalika chasing me, a cockroach chasing me, I call him man of God. You have the power and the authority. Are you following me? They, they, they are evicting me. You, you, I, 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 I have nothing against someone being evicted. We are a church of welfare. Are, are you understanding me? But at the same time, let's not have this mandate or this, this mindset of failure. Because we are made to rule, to, 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 to rule and to reign. Are you with me, somebody? I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. The priesthood anointing, you may not have the title of pastor, apostle, teacher, or evangelist or prophet. But, but, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen, nonetheless, you carry a priestly anointing. As long as you've been cleansed by the blood of God, you carry a priestly anointing. As long as you've been purchased by the blood, you carry a priestly anointing. You have a kingly anointing and a priestly anointing. So don't sit there as though you, 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 are, you are nothing. You have an authority, an anointing, Mama Abby, that, that works on one hand in the physical and an anointing that works in the spiritual. You have dominion in the physical over physical things and you have dominion in the spiritual over spiritual things. 
Who told you that you were a failure? Who told you that you would die like this? Who told you that you can't make it? Go back and tell that person that you encountered a pastor today and he said to come back and tell them that they are a liar. Are you with me somebody? You are made to reign and you are made to rule. When you don't understand your identity, you become like the story that Jesus tells us, tells us the parable of the lost son. That, 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 that two brothers of the same father, man of God, one travels as the father in Luke chapter 11 verse 15. He asked the father, Luke, Luke 15, 11, he asked the father, that father, give me my portion of my inheritance. And we all know what happens. He goes around, squanders it because, you see, prodigal means, prodigal means waste. When you don't know your identity, you're wasteful. You waste your life. You waste your time. You waste the power. You waste the authority. You waste the anointing. The kingly anointing, the priestly anointing, you waste it. One thing that is evident or present in a king's life and a priest's life is the anointing oil. At the coronation of the queen, there was anointing oil. At the ordination of a priest, there is anointing oil. Because the olive, it signifies the olive. The olive goes through the pressing, the crushing, the squeezing, and the pressing. Are you with me? Before the oil comes out. It's proven, tested. And, 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 and even in that, there are different types of olive oil which we bless and call anointing oil. You understand? It is always evident. It is always present. He goes around, squanders the, the father's inheritance, begins to eat pig food. You see, when you don't know your identity, you eat what animals eat. Excuse me to say and the Bible said that he came to himself. He, he, he spoke to himself. And he said, there is something about speaking to yourself. Oh my God, I have a word on that. The, you see that the lady with the issue of blood, she spoke to herself. Told herself, if but I would make a move and touch his garment, I'll be made whole. This son, lost son, who didn't know his, who didn't know his identity, had lost his identity, spoke to himself. He came to himself and he said, how many of the servants in my father's house eat with pigs? I'm going back. And, and what, I, what, what baffles me, he said to the father, give me. But now when he came back to his senses, he went back to his father and he said, make me one of your servants. Hallelujah. You see, when, 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 when you don't know your identity, you are not made. But when you know your identity, you are made. Hallelujah. And somebody, you are made to rule. You are made to reign. You are made for dominion. You are made for authority. You are made for power. And the Bible says that kings make decrees and proclamations. Because he says you will decree a thing and it shall be established. Tomorrow we will be making some decrees. And I want you to bring your neighbor, I want you to bring any difficult situation to God tomorrow. Tomorrow, your crown will return. Say, my crown will return. Say, my crown will return. Say, my scepter will return. Say, my robe will be returned unto me. Hallelujah. Listen, without your identity, how do you identify a king or a priest? By the crown. Ladies and gentlemen, you are made for the top. You are made for more. You are made for glory. Let's be on our feet wherever you are. Oh, if you are doing that for Jesus, do it better. Oh, if you are doing it for Jesus, do it better. If it's for Jesus, do it better. If it's for Jesus, do it better. You see, there were two sons. One went, squandered the father's blessing that he gave him. And there was one that remained. But when he heard that the brother had come back and was being celebrated, he became grieved, went to the father and said, I stayed. And you did not even give me a small goat 
to celebrate with my friends and this one has come back and you are celebrating him and the father said everything that I have belongs to you but this one was dead was lost and has now been found hallelujah when you find your identity and you come back you come back from the dead you come back from the lost and now you are ready to be celebrated are you with me celebration will be your portion I said celebration will be your portion because now you have found your identity say I have found my identity say I found my identity and I am a king and I am a priest and I am made to rule and I'm made to reign lift up your voice and begin to pray you are praying activating the kingly anointing over your life you are praying activating the priestly anointing over your life for kings make decrees and proclamations and have them established thou shalt decree also a thing and it shall be established lift up your voice and begin to speak into the atmosphere I came for someone that is about to speak speak life over your life speak life into your life and the sound of my voice may be just like the prodigal son your identity has taken you to some dark places but I came to speak to someone that the Lord God has redeemed you by his blood you are not the same as the world identifies you somebody begin to speak lift up your voice in prayer lift up your voice in prayer lift up your voice in prayer Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Let a fire! Let a fire! Let a fire! 
I break every link. I come against the darkness. From beginning to the end, this complex for arguments. Hold that lady for me.
let her have the oil retain her identity now in the name of Jesus I said retain her identity now Amen. You're, they've exchanged your identity Jesus. but I take it back for you Amen. by the anointing oil the kingly anointing and the priestly anointing Yes, Lord. take it hey now. take it Jesus Jesus name. I take the mask off. Yes, Lord. By the blood. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And I replace it with the anointing. Yes, Lord. They are going to fight us in a minute. Watch this. Uh -huh, bro. I replace it with the anointing. Amen. You have lost the battle. Yes. This one belongs to Christ. Yes. Come here. Yes. Come here. Your rightful identity. I return it back yes. to you. Yes, Lord. I said I return it back to you. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Yes, Lord. What's your name? Georgina, is that her name? Yes. Georgina, Georgina, I return your identity to you. Amen. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Amen. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, whoever, whoever has exchanged my identity by the blood of Jesus, I take it back. Take it. Holy Ghost, let it be permanent. In Jesus' name. Holy Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Yeah. Time is fast spent. It was necessary that we did that. But I want you to bring your neighbors tomorrow. Bring your enemy tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be fire and power. Thank you so much for having me. I love you so much. If you have been blessed, make a joyful noise. Yes, for Jesus. Love. For Jesus. Why I lift my hands? Why I lift my voice? Why I sing to you? You are the reason why I lift my hands. Why I lift my hands? Why I sing to you? is already moving from tomorrow onwards what you've seen it will be double I'm telling you you know I, I don't just say things hallelujah the day I told my wife I love you she knows from that day I'll be loving her amen <laughs> I don't just say things hallelujah this is my expectation listen there's an anointing bubbling let me kindly stand up stand up stand up now before we take our offering Repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From tomorrow. From tomorrow. God. God. I am. I am. A candidate. A candidate. For the double release. For the double release. Of the kingly. Of the kingly. And the priestly. And the priestly. Anointing. Anointing. My life. My life. Will never be the same. Will never hallelujah. be the same. Amen. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, we've started well. I will be going into the wellness. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm expecting God to do something amazing in somebody's life. Amen. Amen. Take your good offering. Take your offering. Ben. Or oh my, uh, nah. the two ladies. And what, what is the name? Do you have a name for your group? Is there a group? Okay, what's your name? Simon. Jessica. Abigail, so Abby, Jesse, Simon, come, come, come and sing whilst we take an offering. Amen.
Come, come. Here, yeah. take my microphone. Oh, there's another microphone. Simon, Abigail, Jesse, come and sing. If you don't sing well, <laughs> please let's be great. Let's be great. Take your offering. Father, we bless our offering for the kingdom. We are kings and priests. This offering changes a lot That's in it, our man. lives Two. in Jesus' name. Right so we start from the back and let's be quick. Time is fast spent. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, my God is good. Oh, hey, my God is good. Oh, hey, my God is good. Oh, my God is good. Oh, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah. 